Hi, my name is Tom Helen. In this video you will learn how to communicate between two Arduinos over long distance up to 1.8 km in open air. The HC12 is a wireless serial port communication model. It is very useful, extremely powerful and easy to use. First you will learn how to make a wireless instant messenger with the least effort possible. Then we will move on to light up an LED with a push button. And then we will learn a few useful string functions and operations for serial communications. The last part of the video is not necessary, but you will learn how to use the HC12 module like a pro. In this part you will learn how to enter the module setup mode, to change the baud rate, communication distance and so on. And finally you will learn how to connect an external SMA antenna. Follow the rest of this video to find out how easy it is to become a pro in wireless serial communication. We need two Arduinos, two HC12 modules, wires, breadboard, 10k resistor, a push button and the exercise files. First we have to solder the spring antennas to both of the HC12 chips. I also soldered some pins on the HC12 module to make it easy to use on a breadboard. We will use two Arduinos with the HC12 module connected to each of them as you can see in the image. For both Arduinos we connect pin 2 to TX and pin 3 to RX, ground to ground and VCC to 5V. At one Arduino we will add a push button as you can see in the image. To work with two Arduinos on one computer, we have to open two instances of the Arduino IDE. This means that we have to open the Arduino software two times. This is not the same as File New. Save the one with the push button connected as HC12 Sender and the other as HC12 Receiver. Make sure that the right ports are selected for each of the Arduinos. Download the zip archive to follow along with the examples. We will start by making an instant wireless messenger. Copy the content from the file hc 12 messenger send receivetxt in the zip archive and paste it to each of the Arduino instances. The code is the same for both Arduinos. After uploading the code, open the serial monitor for both instances. Now start typing in both serial monitors to start the shed. Even your Arduinos are connected to the same computer, the communication is wireless. A toggle button is used very often in electronics. The principle is very simple. You press a button once to turn on the LED and press the same button again to turn off the LED. Copy and paste the content of the HC12 toggle button send.txt to the HC12 sender instance and the HC12 toggle button receive txt to the HC12 receiver instance and upload. A few validators like timing and button code are used in order to make sure this example works perfect. Momentary button. A momentary button is pretty straightforward. While pushing the button the LED lights up. When releasing the button the LED turns off. Copy and paste the content of the HC12 Momentary button send txt to the HC12 sender instance and the HC12 momentary button txt of the HC12 receiver instance and upload. Some useful functions and operators. There are a few useful functions and operators that come in handy when you want to split a string and convert it to a decimal and so on. Look at the file HC12 useful functions and operators send.txt and HC12 Useful functions and operators receive.txt. The send sketch sends a string test123 on button press. The receive sketch reads the string, split it and convert it to an integer. Advanced setup changing the HC12 settings with AT commands. You can easily skip this section as it will cover some advanced chip settings. However, I will cover the basics so you will be able to change the model's baud rate, transmission power, channels and working modes. A full manual can be found in the zip archive under the name hc 12 usermanualpdf Connect the hc 12 as shown in the image and connect the Arduino to your computer. 
copy and paste the contents of the file ac12atcommander.txt from the zip archive and upload to your Arduino. Open the serial monitor and type AT. If the model returns OK, the command mode is working. Changing the baud rate. The baud rate can be set to 1200 bits a second, 2400, 4800, 9600, 19200, 38500, 57600, and 115200 bits a second. The default value is 9600 bits a second. For example, type AT plus B 4800, the model returns OK plus B 4800. Changing the communication channel. Type AT plus C and then the value. The value can be a number from 001 up to 127. Every number is a 400 kilohertz step. The working frequency of channel 100 is 473 megahertz. Example, type AT plus 021, the model returns OK plus C021. The model is now set to a working frequency of 441.4 megahertz. Note that both sending and receiving modules need to have the same frequency to communicate. Changing the working mode of the module. This can be FU1, FU2, FU3 or FU4. See documentation for a full explanation. Example type AT plus FU4. The module returns OK plus FU4. Obtain all parameters from the module. Type AT plus RX. The model should return something like this. OK plus FU3. OK plus baud rate 9600. OK plus C001. OK plus RP plus 20 dBm. Spring antenna or SMA antenna. The HC12 modules come standard with the spring antenna. However, you can connect an SMA antenna to the board. There are whole books written about antennas and how they work. I don't want to go too deep into this subject. The only thing to remember for now is that electronic circuitry can interfere with an antenna and therefore the HC12 has an IPEX RF socket so you can separate the antenna from the board. This can help for better reception and transmission. What you need is an IPEX to SMA extension cord and an SMA antenna. Make sure when you order that the male and female connections match. You can push the cord on the IPEX connector and solder it down. On the other side of the cord you can screw on the SMA antenna. In this video you have learned how to use the HC12 for long distance communications between Arduinos. You have learned how to make an instant messenger, a toggle button, a momentary button, how to use some string operators and functions, and how to change the HC12 settings. The making of this video took about 100 hours of research, testing, editing, writing and so on. Was this video helpful for you? Please click the like button and subscribe. See you in the next video.